<laughs> not that hard. It looks like dog sick. Oh. We're testing some more viral kitchen hacks from around the internet, including this gorgeous cake right now, which is about to be hacked. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right, let's cake hack. So imagine the scene, you've only got a cake yeah. and uh, some tongs. Now, luckily we have a couple of sets here. This would not work so well, but the aim is that you take the, the tongs and you go down like oh. that. However, we've got Stumpy Town on the end there. We do have this set, which is way better, okay? So okay. you should be able to portion the cake do you want to do it and I'll oh. grab the camera? Should I go for a big slice? Yeah, just push down. There we go. All right. <laughs> Is it working? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yes. Kind of. Come on. Oh, look at that. Hey, that's pretty good. But that, massive, <gasps> that is a massive that's piece a of cake. That's a big bit of cake. Maybe I should have gone smaller. So okay. now with that bit done, yeah, you could probably adjust it and use that side you've already got and, and then you use one side. Uh, that's a good idea. And then you've got more pressure on just one side. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, that, see? Now, I'm not sure if I would use that. I mean, everyone will say, why don't you use a knife or a spoon or a fork? However, that's not bad, right? No, that's all right. That's good if you haven't got a sharp knife to hand. Right. We well, want to let your kids do it. Yes, always do that at a kid's party. That's the first hack done, is that all right? That's good. Well, if you think that was fun, there's a more dangerous one coming up towards the end, but let's do another safe one. Mm, that was good cake. The justification for eating that is it's someone's birthday somewhere. Many people's birthday somewhere. There's only one in three, six, five, six, six chance. You don't get, just, just let me eat cake. Hack number two. Have you ever been in a situation where you have got a jar of jam uh, that you cannot open? Yes. We, we do. We, yeah. we have waited genuinely for this jar of jam down here and we're going to try and open it with a very simple hack. So we need a hammer, okay? A hammer? No, I'm joking. No, we just need a wooden spoon. And with one deft spank on the side of the uh, lid itself, not on the, on the vase, on the base, okay, or on the glass, on the lid, okay? Okay. I'm, I'm worried I'm going to smack my hand. Just be deft. Oh my oh, gosh, shit. not that hard. Oh, I should have explained. Deft doesn't mean deaf. Okay? I think I hit the glass. See, I'm not a very good, like, aim. <laughs> I don't think I should have done that. Let's see it, let's see if it works. Try it. Oh no, is it not working? Hang on, let me try a, to a softer one. A softer one. So if your my whack didn't do it, your softer one will. Oh yeah, all right. Okay. That actually, what, what does it do? It just released it maybe. That, that has been in our cupboard for like two weeks and we're like, oh, we've got to get this open. So save it for a video. That genuinely works. <laughs> that did, that was good. I would not hit it slightly as aggressive as Mrs. B. Sorry, you um, said hit it. But that would have, if it shattered the glass, it would have opened it. So yeah, I, I see where <laughs> you're going with that. Right, next one. You should have said a gentle tap. Not a hit. <laughs> Austin is playing the role of health and safety advisor for this video and is very concerned. <laughs> Hack number three, I tasked Mrs. B and I said, get any flavor, Pringle flavor you want to, okay? Because you ever been in a situation where you can make the ultimate Pringle mashup, no pun intended. Oh, was I meant to get two flavors that go well together? Uh, maybe, yeah. What did you get, prawn cocktail? Oh, I've never tried prawn cocktail Pringles before, so I thought. Let's get in, let's try them. Well, now you and, can. And original, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with that, no. No. Right. We're going to make the ultimate hybrid, which is just basically Pringle Inception, okay? Are we just tipping them all in a bowl and mixing them together? Sort of. If that oh. bowl kind of was called a saucepan and had a bit of water in. And we'll do that. We'll do that with the flavoured one, okay? Because this okay. can be your serving device. It'll all make sense, trust me. Oh. So what we're going to do is take some water and I was like, oh no, we're going to wash some of the seasoning off. I'm going to just put a little bit there though. It does smell oh, very, like, it does smell like the sea. Very good prawn flavour in there. Right, so we're going to get this going and we might need more water. We're going to make a mush. We did a hack similar to this um, and that was more for a mashed potato. Yeah. Oh, like I've wasted my prawn cocktail Pringles. I'll get you some more, don't worry. <laughs> All right, look, it's starting to break down. Um, it looks a lot like old breakfast cereal. Um, it's still very chunky, so we really want to get this nice and smooth. I've been stirring this like crazy, and it's just not breaking down anymore, so this is the texture. 
<laughs> we're left with kind of like terrible beaten scrambled egg. Right, Mrs. B? This doesn't look very appetizing. Well, it's... Oh my gosh, that looks vile. Sorry. <laughs> what have you done to my full cocktail Pringles? I'll see if you still like them now. That kind of looks like baby food. Yeah? Or something else absolutely vile that I don't want to say. What, vomit? Yeah. There's not enough texture and colour to it for me. Oh, oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> that is Pringles dip. We should have gone with cheese and onion. You take a Pringle. Oh, look at that. It's like, what happened to you, mate? That was horrendous at first. Then it's almost gone like, like a melted cheese vibe. And now I hate it again. The flavour is still there slightly. That's such a weird texture. Yeah, it's all about the texture, isn't it? It reminds me of something, but I don't, I can't think what. Cold porridge? <sighs> I mean, it looks absolutely horrendous, doesn't it? Um, I would not recommend serving that at a party. But you could, you could live on it. You could, oh. e you could eat that. Okay, that's a fail. Yeah. Sorry. There's your Pringles. It looks like dog sick. I've got an idea. Oh, what nice. if we spread that on a baking tray and bake it and try and turn it back into a Pringle and dry it out? Would that work? Oh, you're really going to do it? Yeah, why not? Oh. We'll see. Hack number four, whilst our accidental uh, Pringle is baking in the oven, we'll see if that does anything. Have you ever been in a situation where you want to whiz up some walnuts or other nuts that are whole that you want to get chopped nuts? You didn't buy chopped nuts and you've not got a chopper, but you have got one of these. Yes. So what's going to happen is, we're going to put some of the nuts into there. Oh my gosh. What? I got visions of it being like, um, the fan thing and chopsticks all over again. <laughs> no! Oh, it's going to attack me. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do this. This is the dangerous one, This right? isn't the dangerous oh. one either. <laughs> Sorry. So, if we could place some of the walnuts into there. Yes. No, not just one, That's mate, enough. come on now. That's enough health and safety. Now we're going to need more to get the height on it. Otherwise it's not going to whiz up, is it? All right, there's your lance. <laughs> Could you get a little piece of cling film, please? Is that what we're doing? Yep. Wrap that around there. Now do you get what we're doing? Yes, which is what I thought. And I'm a bit scared. Well, the cool thing is, because it's like in there with the cling film, we should be able to hold the lance in any direction. You can do that, and I'll stand back there with the camera. All right, go. Oh! Yeah, 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 keep going. That was quite clever. You should have a go. Okay, oh, it's a turbo button. No, do press the turbo. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, cool. That's amazing. So, I'm really impressed with that. So next time you go to the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> and they've run out of ground almonds or any ground or any nuts. nuts. Yeah, you could stick it in your stick blender or obviously a, a food processor would be fine. But the cling film worked really well. It just held it in. And I feel like the turbo gave it more control, but maybe it was already chopped up then. But that, that, hey. That's a good one. Oh, can you see it? Oh, that, we haven't destroyed it. I think it's drying out, honestly. Okay. If we can re-crisp it. <sighs> Hack number five. Have you ever been in a situation where you've just invented the three-tier steaming system all in one machiney thing with a saucepan? Ooh. Ah. No, because I probably used the steamer. <laughs> well, if you haven't got a steamer, yeah. this could be for you. This is a sort of a homemade steamer. If you don't have a steamer, I mean, there's so many ways around this, but check this out. We have got a wire rack with salmon fillets that are sat on baking parchment surrounded by a hollow cake tin, okay, with no base. We've then got a wire rack, again, with broccoli. We've got some noodles and an optional teriyaki sauce, plus a pan of water on to boil. This is gonna be fun. Okay. So the water is just about to come to a boil. Any idea what we're gonna do? 
Cook all of this? Yes. In the pan? In one, not in the pan. Okay. Well, sort of. On top of the pan? Y yeah, and okay. in the pan as well. Nice. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get our noodles in. Okay, we're putting this on top. Yep. And we've got nice. this, okay? This flat edge. Yeah. For this uh, to sit on top, okay? To then sit. Yeah, try and get that, that directly above the uh, salmon. Oh, and you can see the steam coming up already, can't you? You can. But to help it, the broccoli, we are going to put a lid on top, okay? Okay. So right now our noodles are cooking, the salmon is getting steamed, the broccoli is going to get steamed too, uh, and that's the, the free tier system thing. That's cool. It is, isn't it? I'm impressed. But it's basically what a steamer does, and yeah. steamers are really underrated. I've got one in the garage, in fact, that's how underrated it is. I've used it about four years. <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that? This is really clever. We have got one other thing. Now, you could do this two different ways. You could uh, take it off the heat, drain the noodles, and stir it through uh, with your sauce, but this teriyaki, we're gonna try and turn it into a bit of a broth as well. So if you could carefully oh. remove that lid for me, I'm gonna pour it on like that. Oh, wow. So the teriyaki will coat the broccoli. Yep. And the salmon. And then work its way down into the noodles and flavor that as a sort of brothy stock thing if we wish. Of course, you could keep a little bit as well and stir through the noodles at the end once you've drained it off. But that flavor, especially with the steam, it will warm it and it should all fall through and sort of flavor it. That's cool, right? That's very clever. So we'll take off the broccoli first. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. the sauce is going everywhere. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's a little bit messy. Yeah. Ooh, look at all that. That is a lot of noodles. Wow. It's not stuck. <laughs> and just because there's an absolute smidgen left of it, let's just uh, put a little bit more teriyaki on there. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do. Mmm. Wow. That's good. How's the broccoli? Nice and crunchy. Mmm. Yeah, you carry on trying that, and we've got one more slightly dangerous one to finish on. But before that, let's mm. check out the giant Pringle thing. Tell you what. Oh my gosh. It looks a lot more pringly than before. That looks really tasty. Let's let it cool down and we'll do the final hack now. Hack number six. We have got in front of us a fork. We have got a drill and some sweet corn. What could we be doing? Trying to get the bits of corn off the cob with the drill? No. What I want you to do is put this fork into the sweet corn. Okay, just one of the cobs, as far as in as it will go, as if it's one of them holder things, like okay? The, the smaller end? I'd or the go for end? that fatter end just yeah. to get as much as you can as, as possible. <coughs> oh, gosh. Really wedge that down, mate. Ugh. Right, so I put this fork because it's got that drill bit <laughs> end. Is that safe? <laughs> oh, this is taking a funny turn. Oh, my gosh. That's ridiculous. Have you gone from being quite sophisticated with our steamed salmon and broccoli to this? Yeah. Right, what do you, what now? What's the point? This <laughs> is a handheld corn chara. This is oh, B. Okay. To the hob. The name is Bond, Mr. Bond. Licensed to grill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on speed. Oh, let's go right down to speed one. Hello, welcome to our channel. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, it is charring. There are some char marks on it. Look at this one. Can you see that? Look. Imagine if this works. You could do like chicken and everything on it, couldn't you? What, like a rotisserie? Like a rotisserie, chicken? yeah. This is a handheld rotisserie. Ooh, ooh. Do you think it would turn to popcorn? No. <laughs> Tell you what, it is definitely, definitely working. It's just taking ages. Yeah, yeah I think that's done, mate. We're gonna make popcorn. Um, no, that's ch that smells amazing. It's like being around a campfire in your house. Look at that. That is amazing. Shall we eat? Not whilst it's attached to the drill. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, that's like... how we eat it. Oh, I seen a video about that. A girl ripped her whole hair oh, out. No, no, no. Now, have we got that authentic grilled corn vibe, huh? Oh, good crunch, mate. Oh, that has got a really nice flavour. Indoor charring. Mmm. 
Mmm. Isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. That's good. Okay, quite dangerous. <laughs> Not as dangerous as I thought. I don't think I want to get two drills and then do a rotisserie. That would be quite funny. <laughs> Anyhow, a moment ago, we saw the giant Pringle and we haven't tasted it yet. It reminds me of a hash brown. It has gone a little golden brown, a bit more than the Pringle should, but it needed it, okay? Ooh, it's just oh, it's a little look, soft. We've got all the oil. Oh, it is like a hash brown. Oh, and you've still got that middle to it. Oh my gosh, smell it. Mm. The prawn cocktail and I stung my nose. I actually quite like that. That's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> What's happened is that dip has been encased. There's still a little bit in there, but it's surrounded now by a crunchy layer that the flavour has almost like gone to those edges. You're getting it back, aren't you? Ooh. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check out the other hacks if you wish, and we will see you next time. It's dangerous, but controlled danger. We, we yeah. have the ability to... To not do it? Yeah. There we go then. Yeah, should we not do it? <laughs> just sit and have a, just do a podcast. Just sit like this. How's it going?